these fits, but if there's a first family in this sport, the Arfons family is the family that comes to my mind. No doubt about it, this is a father, son, and daughter team. And right uh, there is the star fire of Timmy Arfon. There's Timmy's quad runner, jet powered quad runner. Right behind that's the green monster of Dad Art Arfon. And in back, just a little bit further, kind of nestled in the middle, is Dusty's Dragon Lady. So this is true a family sport, father, son, and daughter team. And Jim Duff takes a look. How much longer do you figure you can realistically keep going at this? Till I die. <laughs> Maybe die in the in the cockpit of the Green Monster? Well, that they meet. <laughs> Sixty-year-old Art Arfons is only half kidding when he talks about how neat it would be to end it all in the cockpit of the Green Monster a notorious looking machine that has become a star in the world of truck and tractor pulls. But then, so has its master, a quiet, soft-spoken man who could pass for your uncle or your grandfather. Art Arfons is a big name in this sport, but in his family, he's not the only celebrity. We have a different family life than what everybody else would have, so I wouldn't know what a normal family life's like. But this is, I wouldn't trade it for the world. The sport of truck and tractor pulls also includes this young lady. 21-year-old Dusty Arfon, known in the circuit as the Dragon Lady, she grew up following her famous father and then joined him as a driver two years ago. My daughter graduated uh, from high school and I asked her if she wanted to go to college or a tractor and she said, I want a tractor. <laughs> Save me some money. For a long time I was Art's son and now I'm starting to become Dusty's brother. <laughs> Someday you'll get your own identity. Ah, uh, the bike's gonna do it. They're gonna know who Turbo Tim is. Turbo Tim is the third member of the Arfons who makes his living behind the wheel of some souped-up, man-made machine. Lately, he's been riding the sport's first jet-powered quad racer. With 1,500 pounds of thrust, this thing would blow him right out of the stadium if he wasn't careful. And like his father and sister, a little crazy as well. Round, round, get around, I get around, yeah, get around, round. He's the best there ever was, and there's no way I'm ever going to top him. If I get on the same level as him, I'll be real happy. Hmm. My sister, she's coming along real good, and I'm sure she's going to make it big. One look at Dusty's eyes tells you of her desire to make it big in a sport dominated by men, and specifically, her father and brother. Since my brother pulled with this tractor, it was years ago when the equipment wasn't up. You know, this tractor is 10 or 11 years old now, so it's pretty outclassed. And he says, well, I used to win with it against this guy and this guy and this guy, even though they've added engines since then. So. <laughs> I see. So Big Brother's always watching. Huh? Oh, he loves to tease me. <laughs> In 1952, the master of the green monster worked as a laborer in a feed mill making about 50 bucks a week. Now, he makes a good living traveling with his family and performing in front of fans all over the country. Last year, the Arfons traveled some 70,000 miles together, took part in about 80 events, and enjoyed each and every minute of their unusual lifestyle. It's fun. You see different people and different, you know, learn a little bit about each city, and it's fun fun for their many fans, and a kick for the Arfons of Akron, Ohio, better known as the Dragon Lady, Turbo Tim, and the Green Monster. A family that's always together and always on the go. Yeah, right, right, right.